I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is introducing you to the four Earth systems. And we'll label as we go. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom and let's put two fingers in a dot. And from that dot, going through that dot I should say, I'm going to draw one big curve line. I come over and I draw another big curve line. I come over again and I draw another big curve line off the page. And each one of these represents one of the Earth systems. Starting down at the bottom, we are going to do the geo, and it's important to get these prefixes right, geosphere. And the geo, like geography, is the part of the Earth that is wavy line up, down, over, wavy line up, down, over, come up to the top, curve line up, in, out, leave it floating, curve line in, out, up, leave it floating. Let's just draw a little wavy line down, wavy line down. Then right next to it, I'm going to put straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Right here is an overlap, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. And right here, I'm just going to draw a wavy line, wavy line. In the geosphere, we're talking about rocks. We're talking about minerals. We're talking about landforms which takes in volcanoes, mountain ranges, and the beach, okay? Geosphere, solid earth. The next sphere is going to be the biosphere. Biosphere. And the biosphere is living things, in the different biomes. And those are like the desert, the rainforest, places like that. Come all the way down here at the bottom and we're just gonna put a dot and we're gonna draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Straight diagonal out, little curve line, straight diagonal up, connect. Put a dot right next to it, zigzag, zigzag. On the left, zigzag, zigzag. On the right, straight line, straight line, straight line. Now, if you have room, curve line in, out, up, straight line, straight line, curve line. If you have room, curve line up, down, straight line, straight line, curve line. Right up here, curve line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Curve line, curve line on top, curve line, curve line on the bottom, and put a dot. Then we're just gonna go wavy, wavy line, connect, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, connect. Right next to that, let's put a dot, curve line, big curve line in, Curve line, big curve line, up, down, curve line, curve line, dot, dot, flat oval, curve line, curve line, little baby square. If you have room, flat oval, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line, connect. If you have room, curve line up, back, Straight curve, uh, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, curve line, curve line, curve line, and dot. The biosphere, living things, it's trees, flowers, insects, leaves, 
more flowers, bunnies, animals, birds, all in the biosphere. Living things, okay? Next one, starting down here at the bottom, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going off the page. And right about here, let's draw a curve line down, curve line over, off the page, curve line down, curve line off the page, and now we're just going to fill this in with little curved lines. Right here, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal, wavy line, wavy line, jump over, straight diagonal, wavy line, wavy line. All right. The hydrosphere. Hydrosphere. Hydro stands for water. Okay? It also takes in rain and snow. And it's salt water, which is all the oceans. So I'm going to put oceans up here. And it also takes in the fresh water which is this part right here, this little part right here, these are the rivers. And the water inside this part right here and here, glaciers. So the hydrosphere has a lot of different places where it pops up. It can be the rain and the snow, it can be the freshwater rivers, it can be the water inside the glaciers, it can be the salt water of the oceans. All right, last part of the Earth system. Start down here and just draw me curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Overlap, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Let's just draw wavy line, wavy line, connect. Wavy line, wavy line, connect. This is the atmosphere. Make that an M. Atmosphere. And that is the air we breathe. But it's even more intense than that, but that's going to be a whole other lesson. We'll divide these up into information, basically. But the atmosphere is the air we breathe. The hydrosphere is all the water. The biosphere is all the living things, and the geosphere is all the rocks, minerals, and landforms. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, when you color these in, you don't want to lose all the information you just labeled. So, for my rocks, minerals, my mountain range, I'm just going to take a purple and just go next to what I've drawn. I'm going to take my yellow down here and I'm just going to do my wavy line so that represents landforms. I've got my yellow out so I'm going to put a little bit of yellow up here on my volcanoes and I'm going to take some orange, add that, and then I'm going to take some brown, add that. But basically, you don't want to color in everything so intensely that you can't tell what it is you just drew. So we're going to do minimal colors on this. Okay. Next, the biosphere. All right, so we're going to do brown for tree trunks. And lots of green because it's breathe, not breathing, it's living things that breathe. So we're going to do our trees flowers, leaves, all of these are living things in the biomes, different biomes, more green. Now we can come back in with some yellow for our insects. Those are living things. We are going to color in the center of this flower. Let's make these little red tulips. 
or roses or something. Flowers. Flowers. Forgot my green. Hello. Okay. Bunny pink ears. And bluebird, blue green, and sunflower just to give it a different look. We'll fill this in with black. Black eyed Susan. Okay. Now the biomes are the desert and the rainforest, and those are all separate. And there's I've already done videos of those. Okay. Next. Hydrosphere. Now this is really interesting to me. So we are just going to use our blue green and go by our water. Okay. Because the hydrosphere is a very important part of our overall earth. And it's all salt water, all fresh water, glacier water, rain and ice. Okay? Now, the last thing we're going to do is the atmosphere. And for that, I'm just going to take my blue crayon and draw straight lines. Now, the atmosphere can be divided up into different layers also, systems also. So we are going to have to do a couple of more videos to get this all figure it out, but this will at least give you a little bit of the Earth systems as an introduction. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are the four Earth systems all colored in. Geosphere, landforms. Biosphere, living things. Hydrosphere, water. And atmosphere, the air we breathe. Okay, bye-bye.